Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A military career spanning two decades that included both destroying things <laughs> and building schools for children. KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer introduce us to the Kansas man who did it all in this week's Veteran Salute. Born and raised in Wichita, Greg Williams joined the Army National Guard after high school in 1980. After basic training, he went to Fort Gordon, Georgia, where he became a technical wire specialist, wiring telephones and operating switchboards. But after he came back to Kansas, he was given a completely different job. Came back home and they stuck me in 11 Charlie, which is 11 meter meter mortars. Stationed at Fort Riley, Greg Williams would train to become an infantryman, plugging in coordinates, firing 81 millimeter mortars on the firing range, hitting targets up to four miles away. It was around three to four inches in diameter, you know, round and about a foot long. It was interesting to see what kind of damage it'll do to a vehicle or what kind of crater it'll put in the earth. After spending four to five years at Fort Riley, Williams signed up for a change of scene from destruction to construction. We went to Central America, Honduras, Costa Rica, and Panama, and each time we built schools in little villages so kids wouldn't have to walk five to ten miles yeah. just to go to school. Each brick we put up, we had to check it, make sure it was level. Each layer each, we had to put up and make sure it was available. If not, we had to tear it down and start over. Williams would then take up engineering in the States, training to become a heavy equipment operator in Oklahoma. Little did he know when he went back to the infantry in 2000, his whole trajectory would change just one year later. I'm waiting to get on the bus to head over. I was at work at uh, WSU then, and I was watching planes hitting the Twin Towers. And I called my supervisor. I said, okay, they're going to be calling us up. In November, close to Thanksgiving, they called us. More than 20 years after he joined the Army National Guard, Williams went active duty. In January 2002, Williams' squad would land in Germany. And then we thought we were going to be going to Kosovo, we were told. But the guy that was already there ahead of us, they, had, they sent them and we stayed back. For the next nine months, Williams would guard a U.S. Army garrison east of Frankfurt. There, family members of those sent to the front lines were kept safe. Turkish groups, you know, gangs, you know, four to five Turkish groups going around different gates, mm -hmm. threatening to come in and threatening to do damage. So, But we were trained to... They can talk all they want while they're outside that gate, but if they come inside the gate, that's a different story. Williams would retire in December 2003, a unique career with a unique ending. Williams recalling the gratitude from those families he protected in Germany. We got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thank yous, and so I'm glad you're here. We appreciate you. If I had to do it all over again, I would. I had a great time in the service. Williams would go on to work for USD 259 for 10 years. He currently works for the Wichita VA in engineering and maintenance. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's Staff Sergeant Greg Williams, who served our country for almost 22 years. Greg, on behalf of all of Kansas, thank you so much for your service. You're very welcome, and thank you for acknowledging the veterans, and if I had to do it over again, I would. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. 